this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I'm going to re review this um, Yamaha jet ski. Um, first day on it, first day of spring, awesome day. Give you guys a couple little rides on it and then I'll go through some of the features. Start it up here. <laughs> Deluxe in black, brand new, really nice jet ski. We'll go through some of the features. Uh, one of the neatest features about this jet ski is it has reverse. Um, so if, if you need to stop on a dime, you can. I'll show you some of the features here. All right, so we got some storage right here. A little quick storage. Um, rubber pad, LCD screen here, two mirrors, which is nice. So the cruise assist. So you do a little cruise control. This is good for uh, wakeboarding. If you want to set like 20 miles per hour, you can do that. No wake zone. This is good. Um, you know, obviously, we can't make the wake. Um, the right side here is, is forward. That's going to accelerate. And then the left side is brake. So that, that's where you could stop um, in reverse. Um, Safety line, definitely always want to wear this guy. If if you do fall off, it'll stop the jet ski. As someone who a long time ago didn't put that on and did fall off and ended up swimming after a jet ski, not cool, not fun. Uh, here in the front, we have additional storage. Open that up, get your fire extinguisher, put safety things, things of that nature. Uh, the pad, the pad's very very nice. Um, you notice on the Yamaha, as opposed to the sea -Doo, there's no rivets here, which will stop anything from rusting. Uh, on the back, back here, a couple of cool things. We have this, which is just if you, you were in the water, you can use step on that and get out. And then you have this flap right back here. That's where you can let it go. This flap will kick down, cover this, and then it will push the water in the opposite direction. Um, so that's a very nice feature. And then here in the back, we get some additional storage as well. Find the clicker here. This is a, about a three-seater. This is just storage. Uh, you can put your cell phone, things like that, in there. But I would suggest putting it in a Ziploc bag anyway, just in case you do happen to get some water in there. Again, first day, so really enjoyed riding it today. Uh, a floating dock is a nice feature, also, if you can get one, whether you're in salt or fresh water, it's just going to keep inside of the boat. Very clean. Uh, one other thing I forgot to mention is over here where your dry storage is, there, actually, no, inside, after you're done for the day and you want to, especially if you go in salt water at the beach. There is a little place where you can hose out the interior. Actually, that is the engine, so in case you want to take a look at that, very nice clean engine. Easy access to the entire engine. Let's see here. Oh, here it is. So this is where you can hose, you can hose out. Uh, put a hose right in there, hose out the interior system, get all that salt water out. It's definitely something you want to do after you're out on the salt water. So uh, yeah, this is my quick review. Again, great jet ski, highly recommended. Um, and uh, yeah, hope it lasts a good, good long while.